In this video, I want to review Graphene OS running on a Pixel 5. And what I want to do is just test the performance. I know a lot of blogs talk about how long it takes for apps to load and just the general sluggishness of the phone. So we're going to take a look at that today. For this test, what I wanted to do is make sure that all of the apps are closed. So if we do a swipe up and hold, you can see that all of the apps are closed. And what I'm going to do for the sake of this video is also do a restart. So I'll restart the phone and we can start to load apps from a cold start. All right, we're back in the phone. If we swipe up again, we can confirm that we have no open apps. First, let's talk about home page switching. So if you have multiple apps on different home pages, we can see here, we got our second page here, go back to the first page, second page, first page. Things are very snappy, no lag, instant feedback. The other thing is if you swipe up from the bottom, you're going to get to the app drawer where you have a list of all of your apps. So if you swipe up, you can see that here's the list of all of our apps. Swipe down and let's swipe up again, swipe up. You can see how snappy this is. So next, let's start to open some apps. So we'll start with Droidify. Droidify loads up pretty quickly. Let's try Proton VPN. That loads up pretty quick. Let's open Calendar. It opens. Let's open New Pipe. We'll open Forecasty. Antenna pod. For the last one, let's open the Tesla app. So Tesla app took a little bit to load, but even on my iPhone, it needs to find the car. My wife actually took the car out today. It's you know out of the home, so it had to find the car, sync to the car and all that stuff, but Yep, no problems there. So if we swipe up, you can see that these are all the apps we just opened. Because Tesla is now open, if we click on it again, it opens very quick after that initial cold start. So that's about it. Super quick video. Hopefully this helps ease everyone's mind about Graphene OS being sluggish. In my personal experience with the apps that I have on my phone, I have not found that to be any issue. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.